Hello, Dr. Jaffe. Um, would like to know what supplements do you think are essential for inflammation? Well, what is inflammation? Inflammation in pathology is an affliction. In fact, it's five different afflictions. But if you look from nature's alkaline way and nature's pharmacy, from a physiologic perspective rather than a pathologic perspective, you find out that inflammation is actually repair deficit. So it's an opportunity to stimulate repair. And then the downstream symptoms, the afflictions resolve biologically. When you mean repair deficit known as inflammation, you have to understand that that means too much bad and too little good. So while I will talk about specific supplements that are absolutely necessary, it's always in the context of a team. It's always in the context of what you eat and drink, think and do, including bioactive, bioavailable, enhanced uptake supplements. There are a few specific supplements that are near universally needed in varying amounts from a little to a lot. And this includes vitamin C, ascorbate. I should have an ascorbate bottle available. You can see it over my head. And what, <clears throat> what many people do not understand is how important polyphenolics are along with ascorbate. So you can find out how much vitamin C ascorbate, how much nature's ascorbate, fully buffered, fully reduced L ascorbate, how much healthy ascorbate your body needs to cleanse. It's called a C cleanse. I encourage you to go a little further than I'm going to go today to investigate what that opportunity is all about. But then there's polyphenolics. And by polyphenolics, I specifically mean coercidin dihydrate and soluble OPC. In fact, my colleague Jay Shri Money and I have a review article that reviews hundreds, maybe thousands of flavonoids and flavonoids, of which we very much prefer coercidin dihydrate and soluble OPC because of better bioavailability, because of <clears throat> better consistency of um, what the polyphenolic does to make the dendritic cells get up and go. So it's not really an antioxidant. Ascorbate is an antioxidant, and ascorbate is probably the most important antioxidant. But polyphenolics enhance these very energetic, what are called dendritic cells, or phagocytic cells, or fibroblastic cells. These are the cells responsible for going throughout your body and repairing what needs to be repaired. And if the repair is adequate, if there's enough good coming in to activate the system and not too much bad coming in to burden the system. Because we're living in the 21st century. And the reason we wrote a book about how to thrive in the 21st century is it's a challenge. 
And inflammation is often the gateway or the doorway <clears throat> to deeper understanding that inflammation really is repair deficit. And what you want is a full team of activities and processes. By that I mean what you eat and drink, but also what you do with your time and what you do with your movement, your body, your stretching in one way or another. So there's much that we can do to reframe the understanding of inflammation to really be an opportunity to repair one step at a time, slowly, take it one step at a time. Rome wasn't built in a day or some aphorism like that, which means that you will want to understand why you are taking the supplements that you specifically are taking. Because they're safer, more bioavailable, because there's more clinical and anecdotal evidence over now decades, fortunately, in regard to the polyphenolics and the ascorbate. So I, I, I don't want to go on too much further because there's so much more that needs to be said about what inflammation is really related to called metabolic acidosis, and we will talk about that separately. So the opportunity to repair in proportion to bringing in the good and omitting the bad. You can take about 5% of your time that turns out to be 72 minutes. If you do the math, it's 72 minutes. In those 72 minutes, you can do many health promoting, inflammation fighting, repair inducing activities. If you do that along with nature's ascorbate, along with the safer bio polyphenolics and other supplements as needed, Your repair can be surprisingly quick, but it does take a team and it does take some effort on your part to understand more than as, as magic as ascorbate is, as wonderful as polyphenolics are, they're not the only thing that's needed to stimulate repair. And if you, if and when, you are repaired as measured, say, by high sensitivity CRP. HSCRP is the test for inflammation that has stood the test of time. And we recommend that it be less than 0.5, which means that your repair is going well. It doesn't need to be enhanced. CRP, C-reactive protein, enhances the activity of cells when more repair is needed. So without getting too wonky about the biochemistry, I want you to see inflammation as an opportunity to repair and an opportunity to begin the process of being well and thriving in the 21st century.